Hello, welcome to another video of the Excel Pivot Table Playground series. In this video, we'll be covering calculated fields, but in specific, we are going to find the leads by visit percentage and conversion by leads percentage. And while we are doing this, we'll also be covering the concepts calculated fields, editing calculated fields and deleting calculated fields. So let's get started by looking at the data. In the data, we have two domain names and their monthly website visits. On the visits, how many leads were generated and from them, how many were converted as buyers. So let's look at the summary that is already created in pivot tables. In the pivot tables, we have the website visits by month and by domain. And as you can, as you can see, I've already calculated the conversion percentage and the leads percentage, but there's something wrong with the leads percentage. If I look at the leads percentage here, it should be something like this divided by website visits, and it's roughly around 37%. But if I look at the summary, none of the lead percentages are even above 1%, which means there's something wrong. So first, let's list all the formula that are present in the pivot tables. I'll go to the design tab or the analyze tab, sorry. And then I'm going to go to fields items and set and say list formulas. Now, if you list the formulas, you'll notice that you'll have conversion percentages equal to conversion by website visit, which is a wrong formula. Basically, we want to calculate conversion by leads. So which means this is a wrong formula. So we're going to edit this formula. And then we have another formula, which is leads percentage by mistake. It's 56 by website visits, which is why we are getting the low percentage. So what we'll do is we'll delete this one and we will re-add a calculated field called as leads percentage. So let's go to the summary sheet where we created the pivot tables and go to the analyze tab, go to the fields item sets and first edit the wrong formula. So I'm going to say calculated field here and this is where we are editing the wrong formula. So I'm going to say conversion percentage and you'll see both of them are listed here, right? So this one is listed here and this one is listed here. So you select the one that you want to edit and then you want to correct it. So, so instead of conversion by website visits, it should be conversions divided by the leads that we have here, right? So we want to know the percentage of convert buyers compared to the number of leads that we generated. And I say modify and say, okay, you'll see that the percentage will be much more better and it's corrected. If I delete this sheet again here and go to the summary sheet, put the analyze tab and list the formulas again, you'll see this time we'll have the correct conversion percentage. So the conversion percentage is equal to conversions that happened over the leads that we generate. Now we need to delete this calculated field and regenerate this one. Right. So I'm going to delete the sheet again so that we can view it later. So I go to the summary of pivot table that we created, go to the analyze tab, go to fields, items and sets. And remember, this is an example for deleting a calculated field. So I'm going to say calculated field again here. I'm going to select the leads percentage and I'm going to delete that one. I'm going to say delete and say OK. And that will be finally deleted. Next, I'm going to re-add that. Remember, we want to calculate the leads by visit percentage also. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to say calculated fields and I'm going to say leads percentage and it's going to be leads divided by the number of website visits that we have. Say add and OK and you'll see that we've got it, but you'll see that it's not formatted. So to format it, I'm going to say right click and say number format, and I'm going to choose percentage with just one decimal, say okay, and you'll see, finally we have corrected the leads percentage formula. To complete it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the sum off here, and we'll just leave one space here to make it look properly because that's going to give a wrong conclusion, right? Since this is a percentage, we're going to leave it like that. So this is how your summary is going to be looking like. Also, I'll just also remove the sum of here and leave the space here so that we have the website visits. So this is how you use calculated fields. And while you're using, you can correct them by either editing it or deleting it from the fees items and sets and going to the calculated fields here. 
remember when you choose the fields here it, it will give you an option to modify it or delete it you can choose to do whatever you feel like doing it. finally if you go to fields items and sets and say list formulas and look at them again you'll see that we ha now have the correct formulas so conversion percentage is conversion divided by leads leads percentage is again leads divided by website visits which is the right formula this is how we basically use pivot table calculated fields to either edit or delete the ones that you have already created within pivot tables thank you for watching this video guys if you like this video please hit the thumbs up button and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel